This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Pull the bonnet's release lever inside the vehicle. Pull the bonnet safety latch in the direction of the arrow, then raise the bonnet upwards. Jack up the front of the car and support it on axle stands. Using a socket and wrench or a ring spanner, slacken the drain plug about half a turn without removing it. Position the drain container under the drain plug, then remove the plug completely. Keep the drain plug pressed into the sump whilst unscrewing it by hand the last couple of turns. Recover the sealing ring from the drain plug. Allow some time for the old oil to drain, noting that it may be necessary to reposition the container as the oil flow slows to a trickle. After all the oil has drained, wipe off the drain plug with a clean rag and fit a new sealing washer. Clean the area around the drain plug opening and refit the plug. Tighten the drain plug to the specified torque. Move the container into position under the oil filter which is located on the left hand rear side of the cylinder block. Using an oil filter removal tool if necessary, slacken the filter initially, then unscrew it by hand the rest of the way. Empty the oil in the filter into the container. Use a clean rag to remove all oil, dirt and sludge from the filter sealing area on the engine. Check the old filter to make sure that the rubber sealing ring has not stuck to the engine. If it has, carefully remove it. Apply a light coating of clean engine oil to the sealing ring on the new filter, then screw it into position on the engine. Tighten the filter firmly by hand only. Do not use any tools. Remove the old oil and all tools from under the car. Lower the car to the ground. Unscrew the oil filler cap from the cylinder head cover. Fill the engine using the correct grade and type of oil. A funnel may help to reduce spillage. Remove the dipstick and wipe it clean. Insert the dipstick fully, then withdraw it again to check the oil level. Add oil a small quantity at a time until the level reaches the upper mark on the dipstick. Adding around 1 litre will bring the level from the lower mark to the upper mark on the dipstick. Refit the filler cap and insert the dipstick. Start the engine and run it at idle speed for a few minutes. Check for leaks around the oil filter seal and the sump drain plug. Note that there may be a few seconds delay before the oil pressure warning light goes out when the engine is started as the oil circulates through the engine oil galleries and the new oil filter before the pressure builds up. Switch off the engine and wait for a few minutes for the oil to settle in the sump once more. With the new oil circulated and the filter completely full, recheck the level on the dipstick and add more oil as necessary. Dispose of the used engine oil safely.